to what's good what's going on with you it's your girl simba and it is time for another reaction okay today we're checking out cj the champ this is highly requested for me um so we're gonna get into the most disrespectful moments in anime history too the yeah i don't know how to pronounce this now listen y'all know i'm not an anime connoisseur but if i can see some i can spot some disrespectful ish from a mile away so we're supposed to check this out um if you're new make sure you're smashing that sub button okay we're trying to touch 200k subs by march it is very much possible all you need to do is hit the button if you're new right oh my god and uh yeah man with that being said let's just take this one let's let's, let's check this one out i never i don't i told y'all i'm not a yeah, anime common connoisseur but let's let's watch this let's watch this Ass was getting man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just punched him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back and literally spazzed his whole body out. Yeah, damn. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history too. Now you see, this one is gonna be a little different. So usually we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this vid? Well, uh... How do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a wealthy black air force. Like, dog, this nigga is <laughs> demon timing 24 7. Nigga, shut up. Watch us to beat the fuck out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said creature instead of human. And I mean, bro, man, Captain, look at this nigga. This man got 0.01. Hello? Hello? Can we talk about it? Can we fucking talk about it? Hold on, bro. First of all, nigga, dead ass yeeted, shorty. He did this to his son? What What anime is this? His own son. Nigga out here. He f Look at the bear. Oh, nah, I gotta see the rest Fighting of this video. Fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on nah, Earth. Nah, I gotta see the rest of this video. creature instead of human. And I'm a man, man, Captain. Look at this nigga. This man got 0.01% body fat. I ain't gonna hold you. He got a bussy. <laughs> My dog got a bussy. <laughs> man, they got a no print. Like gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. <laughs> you got a six pack. What the fuck? How you got a six pack on your back? His back is a literal second torso. You got a six pack on Hey Eddie, thank you for the bitch, my guy. How you how you got a six pack on your back? Your back one, nigga. One, yeah, I understand one. why they call him creature now. Like if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey yo, CJ! Why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? Listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity, besides like guts. Well, you wanna know why it took me so long to do this? Because you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular trial. Like dead ass, I would <laughs> run out of exhibits. So I was like, all right. Bro, <laughs> he said I would run out of exhibits. Give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Cause this is the only way I could do it because it's gonna be a lot, bro. Like I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones and uh, let's get started. So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. What? Nigga, this is like the equivalent of huh? running around in war zone with your bare fists right. and beating the shit out of everybody. Like this motherfucker took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level. Oh my god. Some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets his girl named Jane and she out here trying to throw that ass back she tried to seduce the hell out of this man she like you want to get laid nigga oh you scared or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet and look at this man he like 
uh, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this bitch. And look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just hip slapped her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just... What the fuck? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. There's no way he just yeeted this bitch. Because she asked him if he wanted some... Oh, my God. There's just no way he yeeted her like this, bro. ...to the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some covert ops type shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild, just beating the shit out of him, killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the fuck? Nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again, and he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tries. Oh, I'm like, damn, why she why he smack her again? But she leading him into a trap. But this nigga did he just eat fire? Oh no, nah, this nigga is different, bro. And just eats the entire. Who looks this luscious when a fucking explosion is going off in they back? Our explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again, and he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her the every do with the healer treatment. <laughs> So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So all girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill him again. Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Honda was born. Oh, but guess what? What the fuck? So, so this nigga, so you get set up, okay, timeline, because this, you get set up, right, and, and an explosion happens, and the explosion, you eat the explosion, you, you out the girl that's, that's, that's apparently double crossing you, there's some grape in happening, grape, you know, for Twitch purposes. And then, but she tried to, th right, how do you have sex with somebody as punishment? What the, I, I, I. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Honda was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Meet Emmy, Baki's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for I ain't gonna count this bitch is weird as hell. But, ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a Wait. crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for I ain't gonna count She kissed her son like this? This is weird as hell. But, ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her mans at a party and look at her bro she is mesmerized it's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes so then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him and then he just slaps her ass god damn in front of the party nigga so then this man confronts yujiro and he's talking mad shit niggas like your fashion sense ass your cut ass your shoes ass your demeanor ass then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga so yujiro's like oh you want to get disrespectful bro. all right i can get real disrespectful real quick so he just leans in and kisses his wife so homie gets mad and he's like, alright bro, I'ma let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't gonna do shit. So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. 
just completely one shot at home embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies so then this man goes back to his hotel all he mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife so then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit but this man yujiro pulls up in the hotel room just out of nowhere man is like hey girl i came to see you in homeboy's room nah that that's dude, different to the phone all scared and shit. nah that's different nah that's different that's different that's di Nigga, how do you pull up into a hotel where her and her man is at and tell old girl, I came to see you? How do you how do you do that? Nigga said, I came to see you. I came to see you. Why you in a hotel room with your man? Ain't no sneaking, creeping, no. This nigga pulled up right behind this man. Oh, my God. Like, hey, yo, security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And, well, uh, security. Oh. Non-existent. Oh, oh. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So, old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you the sweet talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child so I can have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a f about property damage at all. So he comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at her, bro, with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good. I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. Then he just straight up tells Baki, nigga, you soft. And he's just yeah. laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Oh my Before God. that ass was getting <laughs> Man, literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back in. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up- Why did he make his child? Oh my God. Nah, this nigga's different. Yo, this, I, yo, this, nah, bro. Nigga said he's a walking black Air Force. Nah, this nigga is a walking black Tim. Like, Tim's is already crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a New Yorker. I love my Tims. But when you wear black Tims, at some point, you just don't give a fuck about nothing. Because you can't keep the butters clean so you get the black ones. This nigga's a black, a walking black Tim. Bro, you're different. He's different, bro. He's different, bro. I'm sorry, but he's different, bro. Hanayama he's fucking different, he's like, bro. Let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually. This nigga's a walking black. So too. then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving, bro. <laughs> Then he just pushes her down and he's like, bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. <laughs> Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I got to fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Yujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me no more or else your ass is grass to me. So oh she my like, God. I'll stay tonight. And he said, nah, bitch, get the fuck out. <laughs> Bro, look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. This shit just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my God. I told y'all this bitch was weird. Y'all hear There's just no way. There's just, why? <laughs> so you beat your son up and told your son he's weak. Because he can't be his father. And you mad. You ain't getting no... Oh my god. There's just no... This is anime? Is this anime? This is the... This is... This is anime? That's crazy. Beating up her own son because her husband won't love her. Shit. My boy Baki got the most fucked up family I've ever seen. Shit, I don't know who's more dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and Yujiro finally fight, but... Dear God, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not 
even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God damn, it's that nigga own son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as the whole time. This nigga's beating the fuck out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. Yeah. This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas wanna have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him while he's watching it. But after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son, Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Freeze shit. Out. Nigga just hit the dash, breaks both of their arms, busts into his office, and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your dad. And then we go into the next arc and my guy Baki's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this oh my killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up on out of here, boy, I ain't got time for your soft ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon back, beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga. Yo, nah, this, this, I, I. I'm so I'm just I'm in such awe, chat. Oh, chat. And chat, I'm in such awe. This nigga needs to go. This nigga needs to go. This nigga's a menace, bro. This nigga's a menace, bro. Nigga's eye and knock him out standing up. So after all that goes down. Fight Muhammad Ali and shows him flicking his son across the planet. <laughs> He sent that little nigga flying. Then he busts up in Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Fuck? Okay. Now, when you first see this and you're like, oh my God, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? And then Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> yo, this man just took a shot at every single hair and protagonist. Oh so then this my man's god. Like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then we cut to this fight with Multibe and Yannick. Now, Multibe has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I have ever seen in an anime. He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces one by one slowly. Look at this nigga's face. This is just the face of a uh, nigga, I'm fucked. That, that just drains all of your confidence. That is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody. So then this man Yujiro pulls up on Yanagi and he's like, hey nigga, you lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit nigga, you right. I'm tired, I'm going home. But not at the mm -hmm. the got your stupid ass. <laughs> Yo, he just blasted his face. Homie knocked the fuck out and just it up. Nigga dead ass said you didn't lose, so that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> and Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm gonna have to sit. Bro, this nigga is yo. I ain't gonna hold you chat. This is probably the most disrespectful shit I've ever done seen in my life. Like I yo, this nigga is dead ass a walking black Tim. He's dead ass a walk. Like chat, there's no 
This nigga is a, a walking black tin, bro. He's a walking black tin, bro. This is this part so hard? This man ripped off this nigga's face. <laughs> he literally dug his fingers into his fucking face and flung that shit and just straight up busted his face. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would you come for round two against this nigga? And then you drew and just blasted the kick into his face. Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit, he had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit and you still ain't shit. So then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm -hmm. But this nigga, Yujiro, did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Cause goddamn, he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him, homie pulled out that demon back, and there you got it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. What well, the fuck? Uh, I guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime nah, history. This thing I is mean, he don't crazy. care if you man, a woman, child, or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His hands are dead ass ready to eat e for, for everyone. everyone. So yes, yes he is finally bro. in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. This man is a certified oh, walking black crazy. air force. So yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Oh, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. I ain't even gonna L print. But nah, that's, yo, that whole video is wild as hell. God damn. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's what this is? Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. All right. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've never seen nothing like that. But if y'all want to see more stuff like that, then make sure you hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We trying to touch 200K before March. And yeah, man. Uh, let's get it. Y'all right, have a good one, man. Peace.